Hello and welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. Today we're going to take a look at this watch. A watch with a bit of a different look to it. This is the Festina F16573 and this is the Slash 3 which relates to this black and silver dial. And as you can see, it's a little bit different. Uh, one of the reasons I went for this watch was I saw it and just thought, that looks a little bit different to everything else. Now, it might be a little bit of a, a Marmite watch, as they say, you might love it and you might hate it. It's possibly one of the more fashion-driven watches that I've purchased. Uh, now, not an expensive watch, 80 pounds, give or take, which is less than $90 on Amazon. I'll put links to it in the description. Now, there is this color, which is the black and silver dial. If I just move this over, there are a couple of other colors that I've seen this in. One is a blue with a fully blue dial. And the other one is black with a brown strap and a fully black dial. So again, I'll put links into those into the description. Now, Festina is a brand that I featured on the channel before. Uh, I'll put a link up in the uh, top right just here just to uh, point towards one of their sports watches I did, which was, I thought was really, really quite good for the price. So they do offer some good value to, for money. So that's what you see what we get for the money. Now you do get quite a large watch for your money. So around 80 pounds, $90. It is a big watch, which may put people off this as well. So diameter wise, it's a 45 mil with a lug to lug of 51.7. So it is quite a large watch all round. That might not fit people with larger, uh, sorry, smaller wrists. Now, the lugs do curl over quite nicely just at the end. So that does help. Thickness is 11 mil. So not a thick watch particularly. Now the strap width on this is a bit of an unusual one. It's 23 mil. Now you get away with a 22 mil quite easily, but 23 I just thought was a bit, bit of a strange one. I know for Stina, only sell 23 mil straps or something. I've not seen or researched that. And weight wise, 76 grams. So not a heavy watch considering it's quite large, but it is an all stainless steel build. So it's a full stainless steel build on this watch, as I previously mentioned. Now we do have some different aspects to this watch with that stainless steel. We've got this really highly polished bezel and down onto the top of the lugs. Now on the side, it's a matte brushed effect. Uh, I hope that picks that up. It's really nice on the side on the matte brush. And I do wonder if they should have followed the brushed effect onto the, onto the bezel because the facets of the dial are a matte silver and you've then got this really polished bezel. Some people are gonna really like that contrast and some people won't. So again, a watch you might either love or hate. Let me know in the comments below. Crystal, mineral crystal which I suppose is expected at sort of this price. Slightly domed, does look nice, nice and clean and clear. The dial does sit quite deep into the watch considering it's only 11 mil thick. And then Festina on the crown. Leather strap as well, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But yeah, you do get a nice build of watch for your money. Now the dial on this watch is different to a lot of other watches that I've got in my collection. One of the reasons I went for it, definitely a bit more of a sort of fashion watch, which you might love or hate. We've got that black dial with those really thin pinstripes, sort of some bursting out from the pinion, as you can see. Now, just on the outer track, we've got some silver with the minute markers, and then you've got the hour markers with silver indices, again, edged in that silver. They look really nice. Really, really nice looking those are. I suppose the, the other two things on here we've got to talk about are the subdials. So we'll just look at the one at the six at the minute. That's just a 1224 subdial. And then the one that makes it different, the date done differently, which is this top subdial. That three quarter sort of rounded markers, matte silver. We've got 21 to 10, which seems really weird. And then inside that we have 11 to 21. And the way that works, you can probably just see underneath, oh, it might help if I move the hour hand actually. There you go, you might see it slightly better now, whoops. Um, is there's an arrow underneath. Now it's a two headed needle. We've got a large one 
just at the bottom as it is now and then the smaller one and those point to the date so as the date rolls round you can see we're on the 12th today with that little arrow pointing between 11 and 13 and then as it rolls round if I can get it to do it correctly it will move to the 13 and that's the way it picks up the date and I just thought that was really different I don't know if that's a copied from other some other luxury watch I don't know but it's really nice very unusual just markings on the dial well, we've got Festina just here at the three again let me get rid of that and then between the eight and the ten we have multifunction written I'm not sure a date really classes it as multifunction there's no other functions on here as a chronograph or anything like that but uh, yeah they've got multifunction written on there also just to note on the edge of the bezel you will see these small indentations that line up with the hour markers as well a very interesting dial something a bit different as i say that date done differently is, is quite eye-catching i've worn this watch plenty of times and i've been asked about it several times because it does look a little different to a lot of other watches one thing i forgot to mention was the hands when we were talking about the dial so just to run through those we've got this matte silver at that date indicator and the 12 24 hour then the main hands minute hand and hour hand are the sword style silver those are not matte they're nice and polished loom filled in the middle and then we've got a needle seconds hand i think they fit the watch really well actually now loom wise this just about does the 3 a.m test you can just about read it at 3 a.m one of the issues I've had with this watch is actually with those reflective silver hands, sometimes the, the readability of this watch hasn't been perfect. You've had to look at it a couple of times, and even in daylight with the, uh, the sun hitting that mineral crystal. So that's one thing. But overall, I think it suits the watch really well. Uh, and as I say, just about scrapes the 3 a.m. test. Case back wise, one of the nicer case backs actually. Really nice, heavily etched case back just simple push on giving you 40 meters sorry not 40 50 meters of water resistant as you can see all stainless steel festina registered model collection f16573 quite simple but it's really nice and well heavily etched onto the back of it uh and it looks really nice as i say one of the better case backs that i've got on some of the watches and a positive although i know it, nobody really sees it but it is nice to have that detailed work on the back of the watch. So strap wise, as I mentioned before, a 23 mil strap. Now a bit of an unusual size, but you could easily replace it with a 22 mil strap. Now this is a padded leather strap and actually one of the nicer leather straps that I've had. Um, leather straps I can find are either really good or really thin and horrible. Uh, this one's one of the really good ones, nicely padded. Now this is much more of a dark gray than it is a black now i hope that comes across on the camera on the viewfinder it looks black but i'm hoping that actually in the footage it picks up for the color it is which is much more of a dark sort of charcoal gray Oop, double retainers festina printed on the back really nice goes with the watch really well with this particular one again you could swap it out but you wouldn't really want to put this something on a nato i feel it would look better on a leather strap all the way around but a really nice strap on this watch really comfortable not particularly stiff when it came out of the box so very soft and supple right from day one so here it is on wrist now it is a very big watch at 45 mil so maybe for guys with smaller wrists this would just be simply too big the lug to lug of 51 plus even though those lugs do hook over might just be too big for some people again so some people aren't going to like it for that but it fits my eight inch wrist really well the leather straps are really nice it's finished really well i think it's a good price definitely a conversation piece i've had several people ask me about the watch wondering what that top sub dial is maybe for the watch connoisseurs out there this is just too much and too busy for some people maybe too much of a fashion watch i understand that but i like it niggles wise there's not a lot to hate about this watch from, from my eyes i do wonder if the bezel should have been matte rather than polished 
but it does add a bit more sort of bling to the watch, I suppose, if that's your thing. Uh, I suppose the only other thing is the readability of those hands can be a little bit of troublesome if you catch it at a certain light. But other than that, I'm really pleased with it. I think it's a good value for money. I'll put a link to the watch in the description. Now, if that isn't your watch, this might be your watch. A much more simple sort of watch. Timex Camper 39mm. I did a review of this recently. I'll put a link up to that in the right hand corner. Watch it all just to see the outtake at the end. Thanks to everybody for subscribing, liking and watching the videos and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.